Okay, my friends, uh, some of you have asked me on Discord, on my own Discord, some of you asked me on YouTube, and some of you have asked me on the Lenovo Legion Discord about these new legions that I messed around with at CES with Lenovo. They invited me, and I went and had a look. Um, there's some confusing naming conventions here, and I think that's where people are getting tripped up. They don't necessarily know what they're looking at. You can see here in my like, kind of like first look at this 2024 Lenovo Legion 7i, and I put in brackets, slim, um, that there's a little bit of a name convention change. So last year, these were called the Lenovo Legion 7i Slim. That's what they were called. They came in AMD. So the AMD was just called 7 Slim and Intel was called 7i Slim. You notice here I put them in brackets because they're dropping the Slim moniker. So that naming convention is gone, right? So there's a little bit of a difference there. It also looks like, you know, it's coming in white in North America, Canada, the US, that kind of stuff. But they're based on last year's chassis. So there's going to be, when you actually look at these laptops, you know, you're going to be a little bit confused at first, but they're not considerably changed from last year's chassis, but the names are considerably changed. So let's get in here. Last year, we had the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i and Pro 5 Gen 8. I did a review of them. Uh, that was their, basically looked exactly like this. This is basically unchanged from last year, other than, you know, updated specs. So, you know, you get the Intel 4th Gen, for example, 14th Gen Intel, for example. But the chassis is more or less the same, if you actually look at it. And the name stays the same. So the only difference here is we went from Gen 8, and now we're in Gen 9. Over here, we can look at this one here, and people have asked me about this. Now it's called the Legion 5i, no slim, Gen 9. No pro, no slim. This is essentially last year's Lenovo Legion 5i Slim. So if you watch my review on the 5i Slim, you'll see that this is basically the same laptop. So we come down here, we look at it, you can see it has the very exact same kind of look as the 5 Slim from last year, or 5i Slim in that case, um, which is you know what I called, I think I called the budget king last year. There is a little bit of a difference though. So not only did they drop the Slim, normally this would say Slim in here, you know, Lenovo Legion 5i Slim, that's gone, that's Slim. But there's a little bit of a tweak here, so there's an I.O. change here in the back. So in the back here, last year there was I.O., so it went HDMI, some USB-A and C in that, power in. What they've done here is they've moved that I.O. to the side, so you can see there's more I.O. on this side, and then there's some I.O. on this side here. The reason is they have this like hyperbolic chamber or something they call it. It's a cooling chamber down the middle, like that. It runs down the center of the laptop, and I talk about that in my 7 uh, video. And what's happening here is the air is going to go in here, and most of the hot air is gonna come out that center channel rather than over here like it used to. You can call this the Lenovo Legion 5i Slim, or you can just call it the Lenovo Legion 5i. It's the same basic laptop. This is just an iteration of that with that improved cooling there, the move of the IO and the keyboard's a little different. You can see on the right of the image there, uh, it went with a black keyboard this year, whereas last year the keyboard was the same kind of as the chassis right here. So basically the same design principles of the laptop with that improved cooling for the non-pro, right? Uh, but it has that improved cooling, change to the I.O. and the keyboard, uh, and it's based on the 5 Slim. That's basically what this is here. It just says Legion 5i, but what it really is is the Legion 5i Slim. And now this exact kind of principle is also happening with the 7 as well. So last year we had the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 8, and this year it's just called the Gen 9. That's it. So there's no other changes. They changed it to Gen 9, instead of Gen 8, done. Of course, it does upgrade the spec, so you get 14th Gen now instead of 13th Gen. In my video that I did here, this is the what was previously called the Lenovo Legion 7i Slim, and now they've dropped that Slim moniker, so now it's just called Lenovo Legion 7i. But what it is, is it's based on that 7i Slim from last year. It's just that, like I said, all the monikers are changed. Like the 5, if we look at my video here, you can see that once again, uh, in the bottom of the video here, you add, there's that channel that's going to be basically, you know, moving air out. So the air intake is going to be here. It's going to funnel the air out the middle there primarily. And what that results in here is also the I.O. is gone. So it's basically the same chassis as last year, the 2023 7i Slim. But the new one, 2024 Legion 7, without the Slim, uh, that I.O. is shifted out to the sides once again. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do here is go over some of these PS Ref documents. Uh, the two fives are technically launched right now, so I don't foresee these changing. So this is the 5 Pro, Legion 5 Pro. Um, I guess it's based on the 5i Pro as well. I'm not sure why it doesn't say i here, but whatever. Um, so we can see here that it's basically visually looks exactly the same as last year. So the 5 
from 2023 versus 2024. Uh, looks like there's more CPU options. Obviously, we're going to 14th gen here, so there's going to be you know 13 to 14. But it looks like there's more options here. So there's you know these new ones, 450, 550. So there's actually seven options this year. I think last year there was three off the top of my head. So a lot more CPU configurations there, which is interesting. Um, GPU is the same, 4050 up to 4070. There's no difference there. Um, SODIMM, same speed, same everything there. Uh, no difference there. Basically two NVMe, so no difference right there. So, uh, and screens appear to be the same. So what we're basically getting here is 14th gen and more CPU options on the 5 Pro. 5 normal, I guess I'll call it, which is technically the 5 slim. So this will look like the 5 slim from last year, or slim 5, uh, but now it's just the Legion 5. Uh, let's have a quick look here. So it looks like we're not really losing, getting any difference in the connectivity over here. There's no Thunderbolt or anything added. Uh, CPU options, again, we have uh, more options obviously this year because we have last year's 13th gen with these tweaked ones, which I've never seen before. So that's interesting. And then we have 14th gen. So you can go up to an i9, which you could not do last year on the 5 Slim. And they were not HX either. They were H variants. So it looks like we're getting H moving to HX. And we're also getting more options all the way up to an i9. They are touting improved cooling, so we'll see how well that handles it. But that's a pretty beefy uh, CPU there, all things considered. 4050 in weird order up to 4070. Uh, the only difference here is now we have a 4070. Didn't have that last year on the 5 Slim. So they're obviously more confident in this new cooling with this hyperbaric chamber or whatever. But they're, um, you know, however that's going to work. Because they are putting in a 4070 now, which shouldn't run that really that hotter than 4760, but they're also getting up to a 14900 HX, which is much hotter than what was in there last year. Two different RAM speed options, which is interesting, 4800 to 5600. I'm not sure how that'll work. Maybe the 13th gen slower stuff will get the slower RAM. Not exactly sure. Other than that, it looks basically the same. You know, dual NVMe, everything looks the same. Uh, the Pro 7, uh, 7i Gen 9, they don't have a PS ref document yet, but it's basically the same. From what I can tell here, it's not available, so we're going to have to just wait a little bit, but it goes up to a 14900HX, which is great. Um, that's basically a generational change, which is interesting. That's going to also be on the 5 uh, slim type model, which is very impressive. Uh, and then 4080, 4090, so very minor tweaks from what I can see to the 7i Gen 9. 7 uh, Slim, which is now just turning into the Legion 7, you can see here. Uh, the IO is moved, as I said before, so now it's on the sides over here instead of in the back there. Uh, we're still getting a Thunderbolt with 140 watt power delivery, so not really much change there whatsoever. Uh, 14700, 14900. Um, so basically you're getting the same type of processors. You're just getting uh, 14th gen instead of 13th gen, 4060 and 4070, basically the same as last year. As we come down here though, there is one different here, two SODIMM slots. Last year it had a single SODIMM slot and 16 on the motherboard. So you had a 16 gigabyte stick on the board and then you could add a 16 if you wanted or whatever. Uh, now we have dual SODIMM upgradable memory. So technically I guess you could take it to 64. So the primary difference on the Slim here is that white color. We're getting the uh, faster memory down here with a second memory slot. And then of course, you know, the aisles being moved from the uh, center in the back to the sides there because they have that hyperbaric chamber thing running down the center there. That's the differences there. We're gonna have to wait until we get them in our hands. But from what we can tell here, it looks like there is a decent amount of changes coming to the Legions. You know, they're not just minor tweaks, at least in the Slims. Uh, the Pros are kind of getting like a generational uh, switch, so we're just basically getting some iterations, whereas the Slims are getting uh, quite the overhaul here.